and welcome back to uh, this course where we are learning together actually because I haven't used uh, Opulence PHP uh, very much actually I think I haven't when I discovered um, Opulence PHP back in 2015 I didn't use it I just uh, start it uh, with my GitHub account, you know, when you start a repo, like to bookmark a repo, but that's it. And now I really wanted to uh, speak about uh, that framework because I have more time and I can actually do uh, tutorials with you and I think it will be fun to, um, to use it together and to learn it a little bit together like you are doing it with me. It's like we are doing uh, pair programming a little bit. So it's really fun. Um, let's dig into it. Um, you see, they introduce the framework and they speak about the MVC, um, the MVC pattern, what we were uh, talking just on the first course. Uh, so yes, they do use um, the MVC one, respond to user appearance, uses a powerful and simple way to build in your HTTP application. MVC, yes, nice. Um, and it's a good way, so models, view uh, and controllers, and they use nam namespace, uh, so the controller, uh, every controller will always uh, sit inside of opulence backslash routine backslash controller. Um, and it injects the HTTP request automatically, nice. Uh, they probably use um, OP louder, I think it's OP louder, uh, PSP. Now Composer um, has that one by default, oops. Um, OC Loudin. Uh, what was the name? Auto Loudin. Yes, uh, it's just to show you. Um, oh, yeah, auto register. What is the oh, yeah, SPL. Sorry, that was the prefix SPL auto louder. SPL is at the, the core of the PHP framework. Um, SPL is at the main, um, the main, all the main functions, uh, the standard PHP library. Uh, and they use SPL, so that's the prefix of, of the function, uh, auto loud register because that function is not in the namespace and so they decided, uh, the PHP community community decided to uh, use a prefix so we won't have, um, in, in any projects, you won't have uh, the same name of the function because if they just did auto loud uh, register, it's not good because, well, maybe in your project you have exactly the same function name and so you will have two functions with the same name and PHP won't work and it will uh, trigger, trigger um, fatal error. So that's why uh, when you create actually a function by yourself, for yourself, never prefix your function by um, SPL because that SPL uh, prefix, it's only for the PHP function functions. It's much better uh, to organize well your code and not having um, confusions in, in the future. So, um, Let's see what they speak. So that's basically, this is how it looks like for a controller. Uh, project is a project, the project name, and that's a controller. I think they don't have a terminal command like what Laravel and Symfony has to generate a controller. Probably this library don't, but that's okay. It's not bad. Um, let's see if in the project actually they already have um, a demo controller uh, and I think they do actually example that's that's the example um, the example one um, which is really basic but actually it does the job let's see I will actually maybe import the project with PHP because it will be easier after to run uh, the server because I think I already have I still have my PHP server set up in a php storm i did a course as well to set up your um your php uh, storm um server and so on so here code my opulence php i import it and let's start uh, no our save mode is on okay Oh, it's funny power save. Yeah, maybe I do. Um, so let's start the server. Oh no, uh, yeah, I will, I will actually, let's set, let's set up the server together. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit buggy and when you click somewhere, 
Oh, finally. Beautiful. So uh, I will <laughs> I will add a new one, but because that's for PHP uh, unit test, and we want uh, the server actually building web server. That's a basic one. Um, well, opulence, I believe. Let's give always an easy way, an, an easy name. Never try to have complicated name because uh, at the end it will make your life uh, harder. And there's no reason to not having, I mean, to not have a easy, simple way, uh, an, an easy, simple uh, name. Um, <laughs> we'll fix this user appearance. So uh, here I will use, uh, they say that um, the framework is compatible with PHP um, 7.3 and later on. Let's use, um, yeah, that's anyway, that's the PHP language level. And the inter uh, CLI interpreter to be PHP 8. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see here, current working. Normally that one is the one by default. Let's see how it goes. Um, I just need oh, a yeah, specific home. I think here we have some issues because as you can see, hmm, opulence. That's funny. I never had that before. Uh, PHP home is not specific uh, because I had it. Um, hmm. PHP long term analysis. Oh, apparently, yeah, that's the reason why the path is invalid. Did it change somehow? PHP is not installed. Um, sometimes this would happen for some reason, uh, but don't worry. Um, so it depends sometimes of, of the PHP version or, you know, there's a, a lot of reasons why you would have this. PHP 7. Okay, at least we have PHP 7.3. I would prefer to have PHP 8 because it's the latest version. I mean the little major version. Um, let's try again, and let's see. Oh, now it doesn't complain. I think it's because I didn't have the PHP bin before. Let's hope it will be fine this time. And uh, that's the permission. Oh, that's because of the port. The AT port is used. So let's have another one. Um, Um, what 60 let's try this one that happens actually quite often with PHP storm I think last time I was looking into it because normally my, my uh, AT port shouldn't be used but somehow sometimes it, it, it is used so here uh, you know you can just check here and I would mention to you um, what port or here. Well, wow, that's a really PHP something isn't on by default. That's a funny, yeah, that's a really long port. But let's see first how it works. And apparently, we still have the same issue. Uh, let's use that one. But I think it didn't get updated. Now let's run it. And um, yes, it works. So that's already good. And uh, now, obviously, it didn't find the project. Uh, that's okay um, because it depends on the architecture and where it doesn't find. I think goes to the root. So if you go here to public, mm -mm, public. At least we already have something. So actually, the server should start in public. And we can edit it in the config uh, document here. You have to mention that it, it is actually what where you want to start, 
has to start from the public folder is um, and let's restart the server and in the meantime let's uh, continue to read a little bit our documentation because actually they were mentioning more about the server and maybe we didn't follow something here um, PHP uh, oh, that's with actually the PHP built-in uh, config opulence locally use the following command oh uh, because I'm so used to use Apache server or Antinet um, I didn't use that often as a PHP built-in but that one apparently is a new one Apex I didn't use Apex PHP Apex or maybe they did install uh, Apex uh, because I'm not sure it's native PHP, don't think so. Um, but they do. So anyway, let's uh, let's have a look how it, yeah, how it works. So yeah, this looks much better. Uh, the page is still broken, but is it supposed to happen or not? That's interesting to know uh, because they mention in the view they will uh, take home so the home view, home builder um, let's make another view so what we can do just to start I don't know if you remember the um, basic example we got and it was that one and let's just return this so just a string actually so we can actually um, we change um, the controller by so show home page we we'll keep that one and we will have oh yes no sorry uh, it's better than to use it in the router so let's have a look to see where actually I will use uh, now PHP storm to be easier if we do everything from PHP storm the route is here and in my case I will actually do this and so get it will be really simple and that will be my route actually um, and actually I will need a name as well so just like this so when we tap the name it will be the name of the person let's try this and I won't show it I think we, it restarts actually automatically uh, we can also try with the Apex server um, I will actually just try it but I will probably have to install it or maybe it's already by default in the project oh yeah they have Apex that's why I require that's interesting so um, opulence PHP Apex let's have a look um, using Apex so yeah good to know uh, but here we see how it goes for us right now so we still have the error page somehow um, and if I type my name oh here it is it works so if I type my name okay so we succeeded Pierre hello tippers okay beautiful um, so here so let's don't not use Apex otherwise you can just um, I will just show you in the terminal what you can do is just doing this uh, run locally and the point is the server and yeah it is it's, they don't have the permission um, so they have the same error actually that what uh, we got with PHP Storm but never mind so um, what you can do if you want just the home page you can do wel welcome uh, welcome welcome myself welcome me why not or welcome whatsoever and let's run it with this one actually is not needed anymore but we can leave it as it is normally here it doesn't work because now I have a parameter but if I go to the root oh, should be fine oh wait it's because of the parameter actually uh, good so if I do this and yes it works nice so you see it's really easy to use 
So now uh, let's continue. And here, yeah, that was the, the article we, we, we saw about Apex. Oh, actually, what they, they use with Apex is also to create a parentally entity model um, using Apex to name it to slim. Hidden symbol uh, using appearance. So Apex, um, Apex, Apex. Right, it's opulence on Robust. So I bet it's from them. Oh, that's really, really cool. Uh, so it's more or less at the comment uh, the um, uh, Symfony or Laravel has to generate things to uh, flush cache and so on. It's really handy. Also, oh yeah, generate UUID as well. That's really cool. It's... Um, it's a really good tool. I really like it, this account application. So yeah, I definitely invite you to have a look to Apex. And for us, we just start by doing something really basic as we wanted to start. So the bootstrap, the bootstrap file is, um, is this one with uh, bootstrap, that's the main one, bootstrappers. Mm, let's look at the example, bootstrapper controller and view here the controller so the controller was definitely different than the one i i got from the example show all um and then use list um it's it's really easy i wonder what template they use because as you can see they use a template syntax view compromise um, opinions has a built-in or oh, nice template engine Although you are free to use, oh yeah, and you can use your own template engine. So Fortune is the um, um, Opulence PHP template, prevent XSS um, vulnerabilities. So, you know, XSS is when you can enter HTML tags, when the user can be able, can uh, enter HTML tags, but some, submitting something, and you don't uh, escape, you don't um, escape the output from it and then you have HSS vulnerabilities. So with uh, PHP, usually, usually we use uh, HTML entities. Um, so you have HTML entities, and you have the other one, uh, HTML entities, and you have HTML special characters. That one is even more used. And so you, um, you escape the output, you strip uh, the, the bad characters, to, um, like you, you actually you convert the HTML tags to the entities, and so you don't have um, you don't have HSS vulnerabilities. You can also use a strip tags, but that's not really the same, and it's just removing um, some HTML tags, other HTML tags. But you can still have um, HSS vulnerabilities with a strip tags. So still be careful. In some cases, that one doesn't remove totally. Um, uh, XSS vulnerabilities. So HTML uh, entities is the best one because it converts all entities, uh, but HTML special charts, you can still configure it in a certain way that it will uh, convert all entities you need to convert for uh, preventing uh, XSS, um, XSS um, attacks. So it's really good, it's really good to hear they have that uh, built-in uh, thanks to Fortune, the um, um, the template engine, and um, we'll dig into next video to start uh, our small, very little project. See ya.